Hi, my name is Robert Mandel, and I work as Executive Vice President for Market and Business Development at Health Dialog, which is a company that focuses on population health management. My first uh, encounter with Synectics was when I was working for Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Massachusetts, and we were thinking about care management and how we could evolve care management to the next level of engagement with members. But we were really thinking, how do we get more creative about our thinking and maybe go beyond what we would traditionally do as a health plan. And so we interviewed a number of firms. Synectics uh, came to the top in our evaluation. A really interesting process. And, and what I have to say is, you know, it's not about Synectics innovating for you. It's about them helping you through a process that really brings out sort of the knowledge you have um, and helps you explore the knowledge that your customers and other experts have and sort of then synthesizing that into a um, a view of what might be possible. And so we went through that, we came up with seven, I thought, really interesting ideas about different approaches of engaging patients who have illnesses in a way to help them care for their illnesses better or people who are at risk for illness and helping them really understand the risk more impactfully so that they might be more likely to do something about that risk. Um, so very positive experience. Uh, we were really excited about the results of the project. An organization really needs to be prepared for the outcome of that kind of process because it does really, I think, break um, previous ways of thinking, previous uh, views of what an organization can and can't do. And so the organization needs to be prepared to do really move on to something different if they're going to go through the process. Um, and I think Synectics really emphasized that all the way through for us um, in terms of the end result of the process is to have something that's ready to present from a business proposal kind of perspective. So here's an idea we thought of, here's how we would implement it, here's what it would take um, so that you're not just floating wild ideas out in space, you're really coming in with a sort of concrete proposal. Once you've been through a synectics process, at least for me, I'm always thinking about how can I use synectics or that kind of process in the role that I'm in today. There's a dearth of real creative, innovative thinking um, that is tied to what customers really want. So, you know, there's a lot of innovative or, you know, creative thinking that goes on that is totally irrelevant to customers. So it's not very helpful if you're trying to run a business. And so it's really about, uh, for me, um, in any organization I'm in, you know, how do I create the experience of deeply listening to customers um, in a way that can help you um, respond? And so what, you know, and sometimes what will look like it's really creative or innovative is really just the fact that you were able to listen to your customers really effectively and they helped you figure out what you should be doing. Um, so I'm always thinking about, you know, at least since my first experience, um, and, you know, I tried to do this in, at Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Tennessee, and I've been thinking about how to do it here at Health Dialogue, you know, how to bring Synectics in to create this kind of experience, because I think it's such a powerful thing um, for, for a company or part of a company to go through, um, because it changes, I think, the way you think about the world permanently. I think you learn something that helps you approach the world in a different way moving forward.